Hey, Big Boy Buddha again with uh, Savage Sniper. Hey, what's up? Um, Weapon Clan Next Generation Killers. Um, um, this time I'm playing Terminal with Team Deathmatch, or on Team Deathmatch. Like I said, if you guys have any, uh, suggestions for me, what games you want me to play, what guns I should use, and anything like that, go ahead and send messages. Please don't leave bad feedback. I really... Give me rate five stars for, uh, being a good sport. <laughs> or any reason you can think of. And, uh, subscribe to my videos, because there's going to be plenty more to come. I will... I'm going to get to the, uh videos where I'm showing you guys a few hiding spots. A few spots of mine that I like to use, I guess. I will show you guys um, some hiding spots on Crash if I ever get it. Because Crash on it was on Call of Duty 4 and I love that I loved Call of Duty 4 and my tenth prestige in that. So uh, I know lots of hiding spots in there. Always like the skull out this hallway. There's always gonna be that guy right there. <laughs> Someone always has to run through my magazine store. <clears throat> I don't know. But I, I'm trying to. A thing with this map is it's kind of where I'm spawning at right now. You see this escalator. It could be a. If we get caught, if we don't switch our spawn soon, we can uh, and we don't push them back some more. We can. Uh, we're gonna get stuck down there. And that, uh, you never want to get stuck down there because they could just sit. There with uh, they can sit there with um, you know, grenade launchers and snipers and stuff, just watching you as you're spawning, kind of leaving you defenseless, defenseless, like a um, kind of like predator and a human, off of alien versus predator, you know, predator uh, humans are kind of defenseless against them because they have all this technology and stuff. But that's kind of how it is right here. They have the overhead view of you. Okay, that's uh, not very good. See, just like that. You never want to get stuck down there. Because, see, if we we're getting shot, we just move back. But if they're down there... Ah, uh, see, he got a grenade up there on me. Um, whoa, my team just all dies. That's kind of not good. Um, I try not to, I try not to camp too much, I like to see that guy was camping, but, uh, yeah. I, I also like using alternate routes a lot, it's very helpful. And I always like to get my last stand, when someone goes in the last stand, I always like to get the kill. It always, you know, I don't know, I just, I just feel like it's my kill, and, you know, when people jack your kills, it doesn't make you very happy. And I just, I hate it when people stake my kills. It's so annoying. Um, this map, there's, it's kind of, it's not the best thing for kill streaks because, well, kill streaks that you can't control, it's not the best because, uh, you, they don't really get, like, they will get kills inside the building, but it's, they don't get them, you know, very often. Like a pay, like if there's someone standing on the open, and a payload might, like, like in here, if a payload is just floating above, it might kill them, but it's not very likely. But if you have like a chopper gunner or like a predator missile or something like that, it's helpful. Mm. A good thing with uh, what do you call it? Claymores, claymores, claymores. I, oh, I just jacked the guy's kill. Whoops. But uh, the thing with claymores is uh. People do not know how to set them correctly most of the time. Like, a good 80% of the games I go in, they don't know how to set them. Well, I just, that was kind of, I was kind of a hit there right there. <laughs> Stop behind them, lined up the headshot, and just kill them, but it's whatever. See, another, a prime example of how that works out. You see, uh, it wouldn't have worked very well with, uh, if I, he hadn't used the Predator Missile, <laughs> I caught him at the worst time possible. I don't know where this guy's at. Uh, 
This guy's got a little vendetta for me, so he's going to chase me a few times. He's going to keep on switching spots and killing him. And if he doesn't... Right now I'm going 13-10. Not one of my best games, but not one of my worst, I guess. Um... Uh, I have a funny story for my worst game. Um... I was getting, like, like I said, I have anger management problems with this, uh, game. And I was playing, and I was just playing and playing, and finally, I was, like, doing good. I called in, like, four tactical noobs that day. So I was feeling good. I was getting cocky. And then, finally, they started killing me, and killing me, and killing me, like, crazy. So then, like, after, like, the fifth game of, like, major rape, I, my score went down, like, .05. It went down a lot. I finally said, screw it, and then I'm like, if they're going to kill me, I'll just commit suicide. It's better to commit suicide than li them get the kills. So I was just like, I think in one game, I think I went like 11 and 58, and it was all because I committed suicide. Yeah, so, I, 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 that's like a one-time thing. I'm never going to do that again. <laughs> kill death ratio went down a lot after that game. As you guys can imagine. Again, love that city. Ooh, did I get? No, I didn't get last. All oh, they won. Um, this game I went 18 and 12 with two assists. Um, enemy team won. We lost. Oh, that guy did pretty good. 13 and 12. Um, again, uh, still clan needs more. My clan needs more spots, so, uh, yeah, if you're interested, uh, message me, and, uh, I'll talk to you guys later.